we are done with the crowd operation part but let's improve this project by implementing what is called error handling as it stand right now we are not handling any error and we have different types of errors one is system error and this is an error that occurred by our server for example if the server is not working or if the server has been shut down in this case our react application can catch that error with the help of react query so let's try to trigger that error to see if the application or the react can catch that error so i'm going to shut down the backend server and over here if i refresh the page we see loading and let's wait for the error remember we are checking for error also and we got network error this is what we call system error for this one we don't have to do anything it can be thrown for us automatically apart from the system error we also have user error and that is error that can cause by the user using the application so let's see how we are going to trigger such error let me bring back the server and back here and that is the list or post page which is this if i click on the edit as you can see we are passing in the id of the post to fetch this particular post but if i change this id to something else and if i hit enter as you can see we have empty result meaning that something has happened but our react application couldn't identify that error likewise react query if i check the dev2 and if i open this key which is this or if i click on that as you can see we don't have the error being catched over here we have this state that has been triggered so how are we going to display such error but on the back end let's see we got the error being displayed on the back end as cast error to object id failed for this which means that the id that we passed in is not a valid mongodb id therefore our server has shut down as you can see failed running server so how are we going to display such messages to the user this is where error handling also comes in and let's also trigger one more error so let me restart the server and let me use the right id let me close this and get back to list post pages and let me rerun the server and now we got the result so here if i create a post without providing the data remember our mongodb or the schema requires that we should provide the title and then the description which are required over here but if i create a post so let me trigger that error and let's get back to the api services and then for the creating of the post i'm going to remove this meaning that i'm not sending the title to the backend so if i enter something here like that and hit create as you can see we got post created meaning that react query assume that the response or the request was successful as you can see we got it here as success but this one couldn't be saved to our database and if we check at the back end which is this and let's see the error messages also here we have title is required all right so if i go to post pages that is the list of posts let me collapse this and come here as you can see we didn't see that post meaning that it couldn't create but react query assumed that it was successful 